Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Mimi and I'm a lifestyle, mummy and beauty blogger. Also say vlogger. Um, so I'm here just sharing all my experiences at the moment during my baby journey. I'm now seven months pregnant, which is 30 weeks. Um, so really, really excited about everything that's happened so far. So if you want to check out my journey so far, um, click on the links down below and also just check out whatever's going on. Um, just go on my channel and just check all my other videos, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, be, please be sure to like these videos if it really appeals to you. Um, it really help my channel along. Um, and just comment out if you just feel any other necessary things as well that you feel I may benefit from as well. Because I'm about to discuss my registry list and what I've put on it. So anything that you feel would be helpful, please let a girl know because I've done a lot of research for this list and some things you still feel like you're gonna miss out on. So it'd be really great to know if any other mums you feel like, listen girl, you're gonna need this. So please let me know in the comments down below. I would love any additional help and support. So I'm what I'm gonna do at the moment is kind of just show you um, probably on the side here, just like as I'm going to be strolling, going strolling, um, strolling through um, my list, which I've used for uh, my registry. Now, I've used a company called um, Things to Get Me. This was suggested by my cousin or my friend. I can't remember. Um, it's quite a while, not even that long ago, but my mind just cannot fathom the thought of what time scale that was. <laughs> but, um, um, I do like this site purely because um, you're able to copy and copy links from anywhere you want to and you put it on the list and you know it's quite simple you just add in the details and bish bash bosh. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that it didn't give you categories to kind of put your things in that you needed. I can't even think. <laughs> yeah, you didn't allow you to put in categories. Say so, like you want to travel and then like food and then like toys, like, you know what I mean? So it wasn't able to do that. And when you did try to do that manually, number one, it's a long, it's just a long thing. And then number two, when you did do it, if you wanted to then, you've already then categorized it, which I did. I'd done it all travel, then I'd done bath. And then if you added something more to the list, it would like jumble it all up. And then the last, I'd done it. <laughs> I, I literally was just like, I, I can't be bothered at this point. And you don't realise how tedious it is putting a, putting together a registry list. Like, number one, yeah, I did it because I had people from my family and friends being like, what do you want? Make sure you send us a registry list. Send us a registry list. So it's a lot of pressure on that behalf. But also is it like a list for yourself as well? Like, what do I need for the baby? And instead of having like two separate lists to kind of put and then you just whatever, and you want to know kind of what's been purchased... Um, I kind of just put it all on one list all together and it's simple for me. So once I know other things that I know, hey, I've got, I've already got this already. I can see that it's already ticked off. And then this is left for me now to just kind of pull together and everything. I just thought that it was a lot more easier and streamlined for me to do anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't need to look at two separate lists and then tick off and be like, oh, what's what's what? It's just it's too much. Why add that additional stress to your life? Um, so yeah, and um, those are probably the things I don't really like about this site um, and about using and these are difficulties I've had with using this app anyway um, but I'll show you just exactly what how it looks like on my phone and how I go into it and how I'm able to scroll through so I'm just going to start from the top um, of <sighs> getting out of breath I haven't even done anything but talk it's baby baby girl baby girl um, so yeah I've started out with the buggy and this so I've started out at least like my travel category seems to have stayed intact maybe because I've done this so far in advance I don't know and it just saved at a time there's no way to like do it and then save and then move on like because if I've done that then maybe they may have stayed but no there's no option to but I have kept it because I put too much time and effort into it that I wasn't then going to use go into a whole other system and then redo what I already done I was like I'm, I'm too far gone I'm tired and yeah, I think I digress a bit. Yeah, so putting together a registry list is very, very time consuming and very tiring because when you're then thinking, oh, what's all the best suggested things? And while you're in the mode of thinking about stuff to get baby, you might as well do your good research and find out 
about all the products going on at the moment so i literally searched high and low i was looking through so many other youtube girl videos as well just their suggestions seeing what will work for me and blah 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 so it's very very time consuming and like some suggestions you're like yeah i like that and other things are gonna be like mm, doesn't really seem it just seems a bit pointless um so what i've put on my list is i feel what is you know really beneficial i feel like i will need um and stuff it's not everything that i'm gonna get all at once as well this may be stuff that i'm gonna get maybe even six months ahead of time especially when it comes to like my food category like i've got like bowls and stuff for her like i'm not gonna get that now like she's just gonna be in a tea for the next six months so you know so it's different things i've got for different stages as well that's to kind of mentally help me prepare so when it's time to buy those things i won't need to be like scrolling about oh what's the best one to get i can just go to my list and be like boom i'm gonna buy that and it's done so that's just another thing that i've just liked about it um but yeah very time consuming but worth it in the end but be prepared to just be very it's your time to be very detailed and just put your energy and mindset into it at that time because my energy lacked after this let's just say the least um so yeah so on this list so i've tried to do it um i've tried to then do my own list doing for this i'm scrolling through it as i'm going through as well so don't mind me looking down um so i've started off doing with the travel system um so here you can see i've got my buggy uh, my car seat the the car mirror at the back I've also done like a nappy caddy for the um, for the car and this is what you can hang over the back of the the seat at the back so when it's you just need to do something late for the like change the baby or grab something or whatever it's just there you don't need to then put go through the nappy bag that like maybe in the boot or something like that you know what I mean so like if you've got the nappy bag there then obviously you can just use it but these are for those times when you don't have it and it's mixed up with other stuff and it's just there like even like toys like her binky like little stuff like that you know like extra blanket it's like probably like her toy stuff so everything to do with the baby so i've had it all spread out on the car you can just have it all in the one caddy and it's always there you know where a baby thing will be like it won't be somewhere else in the car so it's just nice to keep organized like that keep things simple and just together you know what i mean so um next i've got is like her carrier like slings um i saw these three that i recommended um and I've kind of just put them there just to kind of be like, these are the ones I know I like. And when it comes to down to getting them, I can look more into what I feel is probably going to work or be more ideal for us. We do want to get two. So one for me and one for Hugh. Um, and just kind of um, and see which one will work from that. So these are the ones that we've seen that's best the most. I think I'm probably going to get the Koala Baby Care one because I've seen a lot of reviews on this and a lot of mums saying that this is very easy to use and it just seems very nestly um and this is going to be mostly for me in the house as well when i'm moving about and doing stuff so i definitely definitely will probably be going into that and the nuna i probably will get that when we're going out and about um most likely because hugh i know he'll probably like to have her just strapped around and stuff as well so those are probably our two options that we're most we're like leaning towards and then obviously a beluga as well we can probably get the koala i think they're the kind of the same but i've heard that there's more support with the kalua the kalua i'm so i'm probably pronouncing and mashing up the name but it is what it is okay um so yeah so those are probably like the ones that we're more leaning towards um but yeah once we get more closer to date we'll i think because we're doing our big bulk shopping in august and that's just our key date because we're moving house beginning of august as well so this is going to be the time where we're going to be um buying all the stuff for the house doing all of that kind of stuff um so yeah but that all house stuff is also coming up in my next vlog so <laughs> keep up for that <laughs> um so next i've just gone into like the diaper bags and the changing bags um so we're gonna need one for like our daily ones as well and then one for like when we are traveling like to further places traveling abroad because we will be traveling abroad sorry about that we will be traveling abroad to um the states and back and forth a lot because we want to see his family there so it's just nice to have like a baby bag for that and even when we're just doing other little trips if we want to go like down to the park or to the beach you know we want to have options and the ones for him as well ones for me so it's just nice we just have those options um these came really recommended as well sorry dry throat <coughs> So this diaper bag was really great. It's just got it's a seven-in-one portable kind of backpack. It's got 
loads of different sections for like the how the bottle warmer all different stuff for everything else so i thought this is great it looks really sleek and stylish as well goes with the side of the buggy i like all my stuff to kind of match um, so I thought that was really great. Um, this nursery chair we thought would be quite good. Although we do, I most likely maybe even using this chair we have at the moment. This is like a nice one and I can just do a rock like this gently in it. Um, and plus as we moving about, we're just thinking it might just be easy just to have this. So that chair is there, but this is also came as another highly recommended one. So we could do at some point, but I feel like we may not probably be getting this to be fair um this crib also was just a really good crib we can see her growing with as well um so really happy with this the style was just sleek and it's nice and deep um i'm a tall lady so i won't have to deal with that short one problem as well people are falling over <laughs> into the crib i think those memes are so funny um so yeah then we also just got as part of like the whole nursery stuff so we moved on to the nursery bits um <laughs> i've got the mobile um that you just go over the crib so i thought that'd be really nice then we've got the baby bedside cot uh, this is the one that um that you're able to bring down the slacks so you're able to just to reach over the baby at night time do a feed and shimmy her back you know um so yeah that came really highly recommended um something we definitely will be getting we've got the travel play cot as well just if i just remember in the living room or just around at family's house or something like that when we just want to leave her to her own devices and do whatever um that can just be there for her to play in and be around so i know that she's safe and everything and just have her own her own get up in there and um, then we also got the sit me up and the cozy dream which kind of work in the same function same function um but this is for her when she's just laying down and just wants to have like just be next to us but just we're doing stuff but she can be laying down there comfortably have a little nap but apparently it's not wise for babies to sleep in there um for a long period of time but um it's just there's like a nest in the pot um so i thought and it's not a decent it's a decent price as well it's 40 quid and you know using it for a certain amount of time so it'll be fine we've got the baby sit me up as well that'd be great when she's been a bit more agile and she's moved about and she's able to want to see what's going on so that's great for that and also i can see people been playing eating etc in that so i thought that'd be great um so when it comes to seating stuff is all carrying on um we've got the bouncer um what's this the mama roo's been highly recommended but also highly not recommended so it's a big 50 50 and it's how your baby reacts to it so which is why we've also put the baby swing on there as well which i think we're going to be more inclined to get that because risking it for a chocolate biscuit for the mama room and then the baby swing which you know has been like a short thing for a lot of mums so when it comes down to it, we're just going to see what's really going to work with us and go with that basically um when do i not yawn um so we've got this anti-flathead pillow now this i saw a lot of when mums were saying it really helped with their baby because someone had like an issue with their baby's flat head and other people saying that it's not really good so again i'm still doing more research into it but i have just put it on my list as like something to think about as well um so yeah that's another thing i don't want to speak too much into it just because there's like not a lot of evidence i feel that can support my own facts that i've got so far so i'm still looking into it seeing if it's going to be relevant for my baby and kind of see what my midwife says about it as well um so we've got another swaddle we've just got some swaddle blankets there which obviously everyone says get a swaddle blanket and um, this gray one i can see loads of mums have recommended it and also with a zip or velcro strap i think the velcro was the one that's a bit more um recommended as it can hold them tighter uh, but we've, we've just put both there so if we get both see what works if it doesn't then we haven't spent like a million pounds you know what i mean it's like 30 quid and 20 quid that's completely fine um, so we've got this baby shusha that I've been heard as such a good thing. Um, a lot of times you can go on YouTube for it, as a lot of people do. But um, sorry, I'm oh, just sit up. Um, but I heard this is really great. It's just a constant machine that just goes. Shh. I mean, which is great. I don't have to, so it'll be really, really good. Um, so we've put that on there. Most likely, we definitely be getting that. Then we have a thermometer and nightlight, um, which is great because it then just um, lets us know the 
the temperature of the room as well by also going into like nighttime breastfeeding because you still want to keep it quite dark but you want to see as well so this would be a great thing just to kind of um be able to breastfeed at night and kind of have some light and <laughs> um, we've got the noise machine and sleep aid at night like as well so this is kind of like a it's like something you can put on the on the side of the cot as well um so it's like it mimics like a heartbeat um so it, it like soothes the baby off to sleep as well so i've seen adverts on this and i thought oh my gosh this looks amazing um so yeah put that on the list and until you get that um then we've i've got a few different um nappy caddies um on this list it's purely just before different places of the room so we want one in her baby station room or well, in her room one in the living room and then one in our room so we've got you know one in each plate of the house so that's why i've got so yeah i've got about four in here and then one for the car so we've got four caddies that we do want to get for the house um and that way we don't need to be running each other room where we are it's too much stress just have a caddy right there by the sofa right by the bed right by her changing room and then in the car no stress do you know what i mean all done um then we move on to this humidifier really good for the baby's um air and circulation in the bedroom um especially with us because we're quite oh, she's been kicking so much y'all oh my gosh um so yeah we just had it that's a really good um thing to just help purify the air you know you want baby to be breathing good air you know and we're quite allergy sufferers as well so we have like humidifiers and stuff throughout the house anyway so it'd be nice to have like a nice coolest baby one um camera monitor we want to see the baby when she's in naps so be good this i've looked around this seemed like a good um one that people have recommended so there's so many on the market and you just think oh my gosh which one's the right one to choose so as long as it does what it does <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a decent price and let's get, let's get on with it. Um, so bottles goes on to feeding now. Um, these came, we've got this baby bottle steriliser set, which we thought just comes with everything, which is great. This would be probably really good for um, when we're just travelling around as well, just clean up bottles. I thought that was really great. The pop yarn bottles as well, that's also another travelling type of bottle because you put the water in the bottle and then you mix and then you have the powder at the top this is for when she's a bit older as well because i will be breastfeeding for as long as possible um so you put the powder at the top and then when you're ready to go and you're out you can just release this little thing in it shake it up and you're good to go so i thought those were really really handy and i'll keep that on the list for kind of later on down later on down the line comatoma bottles because this is apparently this mimics the breast the most like mostly so that i thought that, that i can't even talk um so that came really recommended as well so i thought i'd put that on the list as well and then the dr brown ones this is the anti-colic bottles which is highly recommended for babies who have suffered from colic which i heard a lot of um, babies do do um and this is when the baby is having too, it's just too much gas and so it's really painful for them i mean do you know what i'm doing i'm just gonna add some information here because i'm just getting main i can't even talk right now i can't even talk so I'm just, it's just my blank so let's just move on so yeah so next we have <laughs> um the travel food warmer as well so obviously when you're out and about and i don't have my warmer which, I'm, which is also my next one as well um on the hand i'm just gonna have that so it's just another thing that's just helpful when we're on the move and on the go you know um so there again yeah, we have the bottle and sterilizer i think these are particularly for the dr brown bottle but we may end up if it doesn't fit in um whatever one we get because remember we're still waiting for things to be ticked off from the registry list for us to even know then what to get afterwards so depending on what we get we'll see what fits you know um bottle brushes you gotta need that these ones we've got are these um now we saw like these rubber ones and then we saw like the brushes ones. some people say they don't add brushes on the get then the rubber ones it's not flexible enough to really clean the bottle so this one we've got so she's moving about so much and um, so we've got the brush one we just feel like that will actually clean the bottle a lot better um, and then at the end, it's got like the little rubber silicone bit, which will be really good for like the teat of the 
of the nipple of the bottle so where she's eating from so that'd be really nice to clean up around properly afterwards as well so i thought that was just a great bottle brush it's two in one good to go you've got the wubba you've got the wubba nub highly recommended pacifier so we just got her the little pink one <laughs> it looks so cute um yeah then just got a bunch of um dummies as well because you don't know which dummy your baby is gonna like so you just want to try a few and it's a good thing that dummies are not so highly expensive as well because then those are things you just need to change about and see what they like you know then we've got some more classic nipple shields because i will be breastfeeding um so that'll be really good to kind of nip those on and so nipple shields you just kind of put it on and literally i think the baby can either breast no you can't breastfeed from that it's during it's during the time when you're not breastfeeding you're putting it on just to soothe it i might not be chatting sense right now please bear with me please 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 bear with me um but this will be really good to be able to talk i'm going to be able to talk about this afterwards and what i found really really and how the nipple shields really worked for me as well but i know nipple shields have come highly recommended if you're going to breastfeed as well because whew, she's kicking your boobies will be your nipples will be sucked sore so you know um so this is what i'm talking about so i've gone from nipple shields to feeding jars and you see what well, i've added something to the list and it's jumped it so this should be all within later on down the line where it's near her like eating utensils but we're going to talk about it because it's here and luckily it's fallen into at least a, a food category barely but nipples feeding we're gonna kind of work with it so i saw these little feeding jars so when you're just there making her like her her broccoli stewed up whatever puree kind of whatever kind of things i was like all these little things you want to make her like her carrot stew and just like yeah but we're going to put them afterwards and i just saw these little jars and you just put them in there put them in the fridge ready for the eat when it ready for when it's ready to eat later on i was like this is so cute and so perfect so yeah, definitely just there for when the baby's ready to eat the food. I can just be out. Now, see, this is like for when she's six months plus. So I've definitely got a varied list here just for showing of different things, you know. Um, the baby drying rack, self-explanatory. We've got the dummy clips as well. That's really good, handy, just to get them on their clothes. I've just got a variation of cute little colours and stuff. And this is pretty much her wardrobe tone anyway. And um, I will probably get some more neutral base colours as well, but this is it's just cute you know um again this is where it's jumped so i've got the <laughs> the baby washcloths and this should be part of the bath um so yeah i just saw these like these bamboo washcloths and i thought this was really cute these uh, things that you know you need to wash your baby with um so yeah i just thought these are great really nice and sensitive for baby skin perfect um back to the boobs now <laughs> i've got the lv breast pump because i heard that this was amazing and this is going to be definitely good for mums who are just want to be more hands-free you don't want to be sat down like being milked for like half an hour just there sometimes up to an hour and you're just sitting there just like all right so i know what i just want to be milking on the go i don't think i have the patience to just be sitting there unless i'm really really tired and don't mind because i do have an alternative I'm just gonna go down quickly um which is i've got another breast pump the spectra that came highly recommended as well so i've got the spectra and i've got this so it'll be good to have i've got different things to go by you know so i've had to jump down the list there but oh, we have to keep it moving I've got the hooded baby towel the bath set obviously another caddy this is a straw cup obviously for when she's a lot older but on the list because i like the set that it came with so i was like let me keep it all together you know a gripe water all those babies got gas it's really going to help them and quite a lot of mums are recommended like you need that gripe water girl you need it obviously nappies slash pampers pampers what these americans call it so that's what my my man be like get pampers so i don't think it's actually the brand but that's just what they call nappies anyway so let them be child let them be um i've got a wipe warmer as well because i would like that i was just thinking why well, do i don't want a cold wet wipe on my tush in the middle of the night no um so we've got the bumbo changing pad this has come highly recommended it's a nice wipe down system you know just after you clean your baby it's nice and keeps it sterilized so i was just like i want that <sighs> i don't need 
um got some breast pads nursing bras and some burp cloths these are nice thick durable materials so that you just don't want to get all even though you most likely will get <laughs> milk all over you but while you're going for burping it's just nice to have a little burp cloth on you um got the lanosa breastfeeding kit um this is, comes with like cooling packs and nipple creams and all of that kind of good stuff so this came really highly recommended as well so i was like definitely want to get that we've got the breast milk storage bags as well for when i'm when daddy's basically going to be breastfeeding he <laughs> daddy won't be breastfeeding but when he daddy will be bottle feeding like say late at night when it's his turn to like you know at least you know got the milk there you can go and warm it up bish bash bosh you know what i mean job done um so we've got the nipple cream there um obviously talked about the breast pump and then we've got the teething um we've just got the bibs got some little teething rings on it as well so it's just like a two-in-one kind of thing there's just dribbling and do you know what I mean? So it's like we're catching a dribble. I thought, yeah, babe, we want to keep them nice and clean as much as we can. Even though that's a possibility that's just not going to be held high. So it is what it is. Um, we've got the nose feeder, which, you know, is that sucking at the bogeys. It needs to be done. Um, then we've just got another changing pad, which is what I want to put inside the caddies. Especially the one inside, like, the living room and the bedroom. Because... Um, I need that i don't know what kind of accidents explosions they might even end up having to turn into changing the bed covers or the sofa covers we just don't need it babe we just don't need it so that's why i'm just gonna get this and um, we've got a nursing pillow as well what you like about this nursing pillow is that it goes at different levels as well so that's perfect for any type of leverage we <laughs> give the baby i thought that was quite cool you know water wipes highly recommended we've got the silicone weaning bowl got the diaper bin just because we just want to keep that separate um just from the kitchen bin like i just want to keep the separate and just it's easy to just dump there and just take out do you know what i mean so um we just got some play balls you can see how it goes from diaper bin to play balls this is what's really annoying and really messing with my ocd but i'm that exhausted i'm just happy that it's down somewhere that it is what it is it's there um so yeah we've got this fresh food um feeder pacifier where you can just suck some bananas down there some grapes whatever and then the baby will be chewing and eating I was going through so i thought that was amazing um we've got the high chair we've got our baby bath here the fill and squeeze baby food maker with reusable pouches um again that was just another great tool that you can just use to be using for the baby foods right there it's all about making things easy you know what i mean why make your life difficult there's just no need babe there's just no need um, we've got the baby nutri bullet that's to help make all my delicious meals that i'll be trying to do um the baby free food freezer trays again like these things i can just put in there and then when it's time to warm up i can just put it in the all these little things babe i was just like i'm gonna need me some of that um so now we're going into the bath section it's probably going to be a bit more jumbled up but here we go um so we've got the scoop bath toy organizer so everything just goes into one place um, the shampoo ba the sh baby shampoo shower cap so we don't get any water in our eyes you know and just some more bath toys got the baby towels here and just that's why i say it's more bath toys but no it just goes into mixed toys <laughs> um but yeah so these are really great um we just saw they just look really cute get with the hood as well um, so just got some newborn baby toys as well we want to get a lot more interactive toys stuff that would be really good for her development as, her development as well um so i thought that'd be really really great we've got the nail kit which is the um not the clip or whatever ones because i heard that's really bad sometimes you'll be clicking the baby's skin i'm just like oh um so we just got the buffer one the electric spinner one i'm sorry i'm sorry if i'm not talking properly but baby brain that's just what i'm gonna put it down to um, so we've got the digital body thermometer as well. Um, obviously, that's really great. I think this one we can use for just checking her temperature and checking her bath temperature as well. And then it just goes into a whole section of bibs, obviously necessary. Um, then we've just got another little water thermometer as well. But again, two in one. I think I'll just make extra because it's rubber ducky and it looks cute. Um, we've got the LV catch as well. That's just to help just catch with any excess milk that may lose and just waste that whatnot. You know and then we have here baby hairbrush and comb set 
I've also got this scalp massager, the silicone scalp massager that really helps with cable, um, cradle cap. So I thought that'd be really great to just kind of, that will just help massage and just remove all the musty, nasty, crusty stuff, you know, on her head. So I thought that was perfect. Um, and then just some mittens. We've only got like one pack because I heard a lot of mums don't use it. But again, we just bought them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, we just put it on the list, sorry, I should say. Um, so this is the, end, the next mix I'm just going to go through. So this got a meal planner book. Um, I just thought this would be handy for those times where you just get brain fart. Like, we don't have HelloFresh for babies. So if I could put together some nice little cute meals for her, I thought that would be perfect. That's going to help me out. I can just flip through the book. And um, we just got this nursing scarf as well that we can put on over her uh, car seat as well. What does it even say on this one? It's like, stop, your germs are too big for little me. Please look, don't touch. Thanks very much. I was just like, yes, don't touch my baby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corona times, isn't it? So it's just like, oh my gosh, thanks, but don't touch my baby. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those. Um, so just got more um, baby books. <laughs> Moving on. Um, just got more baby books, tummy time developments, um, development toys. Definitely want to just have her more interactive and not just have toys for toys sake. Always want something that's going to be help building her, you know. I just got more silicone bibs that help for feeding time when she's older. Obviously more diaper caddy. Um, again, development toys. Body balm for the baby. Okay, so this postpartum belly support recovery wrap. I'm definitely going to need it because I've just seen some tummies. And I just want to help my body as much as possible because... Oh, sorry, it's her... I will be on that mummy snapback just for me to just feel like because I thought so doing COVID and then I get pregnant afterwards and then so it's just like my body hasn't felt right so I just want to use this time to be more active and healthy for her so I can be a better mum as well because when I look and feel sluggish I'm just no help to no one so the more I get my snapback as soon as I'm able to start going gym, I definitely do that because I know that I'm a lot more productive and I'll be a lot more helpful and have a lot more energy for her and to be a better mother. So that's why my focus is definitely more on recovering my body and getting back in, just being more active, definitely. But I know, and I know that this belly support is going to help me on my way there, you know? Um, so I've got a splash mat, which I thought was great. I go under a high chair as well, just to help with the food so it doesn't get in the flooring. You have carpet, all of that kind of stuff. At least this is in one area. I just empty it on a bit and I thought that's more helpful. I just got her a coat, a little vibe because it had ears on it. It's gonna be for when she's a lot older, but I thought I just want to remember where to get this from, but it's so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, this goes on. This is for when she's a lot older, so this is six months plus. Um, so this is just her suction bowls, which I heard was really good to just help keep the bowl firm on the floor so they're not knocking it off. Um, the high chair, and I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Um, so I just got her a bowl and a plate and some baby utensils, which I think was really cute. Um, again, this is now a whole mix-up list. So we just got some pram toys as well to keep it entertained. Um, this is more for mummy. There's witch hazel calling panty liners, which will be helpful after birth. Um, I kind of need to get these now as well, actually, because I need to be building my baby bag. So I'm going to be doing another video on that on what's in my baby bag video very soon. Um, again, we've just got some toys, then some sleep suits, some muslins, baby blankets, you know, all that good stuff. All's going to be more for what you guys like as well, you know. I'm going to show you. I probably will do a little haul of what I buy her anyway, so. <laughs> um, maternity pads. Need I say more? Um, more some pram toys. And this is all just some toys for her. Like, again, this kid's play tent obviously for when she's a lot older but i thought this is so cute and if it's still around like in a year's time do you know what i mean like it'll be a fun thing for her to play with with her cousins and stuff you know wow she's just moving so much um so yeah just mega blocks to learn an activity ball a baby wall card discovery wall card you know stuff just to help her be more independent and do her own thing you know i'm just gonna watch her develop and be like you go girl you go you know the peri bottle basically what's going to help clean my vagina after I give birth put water in it's going to be fun I want to see how that works out I kind of imagine it just being like a jet, a jet spray when you're in the bath and it's like Shh. do you know what I mean but uh 
I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, isn't it? So yeah. Um. So let's move on. <laughs> Got some baby blankets. Um. Again, I just thought these were like cute designs. I was like, oh, that's so her. Um. Then we've just got this jolly jumper stand that we can just put um i was gonna say in the hallway but we've got this stand so it can be anywhere in the house so like she doesn't have to just be by the doorway <laughs> like hello <laughs> anybody there so i can be in the kitchen i can put her by the kitchen door while i'm just doing my bits and then she can be just like bouncing around having a good time do you know what i mean living her best life um again we've just got some more sleep suits and like some cotton pajamas um we've got this hand and foot and hand and footprint molds which i thought would be really really cute because my um my best friend she got me a bump mold so i thought that'd be really cute to put that all together so i think after the baby shower i'm actually going to do that because i'll be i wanted to do it when i was eight months so that'd be like the end of this month actually um so i'll be doing that on the bump because i wanted to get at its biggest point maybe when i go to the new house i might do that um so yeah i'll do that and i'll put yeah i think i'll do like the new house because then I just need to just put that there and I don't need to worry about carrying it, transporting it and then breaking it. So yeah, we'll do that then. Um, I might film that actually because that might be quite fun. Um, and then so yeah, so yeah, I just have some more pyjamas. Pardon me. <laughs> um, some more pyjamas which are all zip ones. I heard zip onesies are the way to go. So that's what I'm going to do because it makes life easier. Work smarter not harder always my motto you know um again all these little clothing little pieces i just got and i just thought these are so adorable this is definitely more for my list um i put it on there so it's like cute if you want to know get stuff for my baby then this is like the baby style at least you can get like an idea but this is more for me <laughs> just to like tick list of what stuff i'm gonna get when it comes to august and i just buy everything you know um, so yeah, this whole list of like little clothing and stuff and whatever. And I'm obsessed with baby turbans. That's one thing I was so excited when I found out I was having a girl as well. I was like, oh, I can put her in baby turbans. <laughs> which you can also buy at Moreau actually. Moreau.co.uk. Which you can go buy some baby turbans. They're so it'd be cute. I'm going to put some pictures right here. But oh my gosh, I'm so, so obsessed. <sighs> so yeah, she will be baby turbaned all the time. Sorry, I have to lean back my stomach. And we just got some cute little socks, little baby socks. And yeah, that was all part of everything I've got on my registry list. So it was quite detailed, quite long, quite thorough, because I can see this video has gone on for quite a while. But I feel like it's just really helpful. Like you put your mind at ease. Like, you know, you've covered all different categories and you've put something of what you like in each one. And that's why I would just recommend just having that registry list, even if you plan on not even wanting people to buy you stuff. It's just a great thing, a tick list for you to have, have the links there for the sources that, of the sites that you want. And when you're ready to buy, you just have it there. I think just having a list of stuff like that is just the best way to go. When you have like these registry apps and stuff like that, that are there for you to use. I think it's good whether you want people to buy or don't, it's a great list, a great tool for you to use for yourself, which I'm finding it definitely a dual purpose for you guys if you want to get us something here's what i'm gonna get anyway um if not then i know this is my list that i'm gonna get you know so i thought it was really really great um also with this you can also um go and see if you wanted to donate money um towards if you don't want to buy a gift for someone so there's a way you can donate money to the couple or whoever um if there's a way you wanted to donate money as well towards the baby um again this does come with some charges which i think it's just better if you just send your friends your bank deals and it just sends you the money like that this is better um so <laughs> but again i don't know why there's all additional charges it's all a bit long to me to be honest but um yeah at least you've got those options there and then also it just shows you the list if you wanted to make for other things as well that's just another handy and helpful thing for you there to use so if it goes to them you can then share this link as well to your family and friends quite easily just you go to this area and you just press copy my link obviously if you want to share it through facebook or or share from your device i was doing it from the laptop at the moment so not from my phone um so yeah i just copied the link and i just sent it all separately as well part of my baby shower um invites which actually i wanted to do them together and i couldn't put the link on the 
just because of how I done it I couldn't put the link on my actual invitation so people can click on it um I just want to be as easy and seamless as possible I, I did put the link on the registry for people if they wanted to type it out but it's a bit long isn't it so I just <laughs> I just sent them separately so people can just click on it easy peasy lemon squeezy um and then yeah so you just do that very very simple um and yeah and with this you can then change the picture we basically used a picture that we um sent out to all of our family and friends to let them know that we were pregnant um here you can then adjust adjust the time you can adjust the date and everything and set the date you know when when the baby shower was going to be and etc so um you can set it to like the baby when the baby's going to be born obviously if you want to do it like that if you're not doing a registry like a date or baby shower by um, but we just put the date of the baby shower because then that's when we're going to be around most people to just then announce the presence so it just makes sense but obviously they want to send it after that you can send it after that it's no big deal for us you know um so yeah this is just great a great tool for us to use um it does have its cons so i don't know how much i would fully recommend it but um it was you know Hugh just really really didn't like it <laughs> um but it was like a great tool for me to use anyway just to have stuff there and put it all together you know um so yeah that is pretty much everything that i got for my registry um i hope that you found this quite useful obviously food you know i'm like um I'm hopefully you found this useful um it was definitely quite a long and strenuous process for myself i'm just not gonna lie and butter it all up and be like oh my god that was amazing it literally took me probably a week to put this list all together by reading review like it wasn't like a it was like it was an education it was an educational process like i did learn a lot i learned a lot about what babies need i just learned a lot about what mummies different mummies you no know, processes went through and processes i guess like processes and everything all these different things that they were going through what they found really useful and i definitely found things to use i had no idea about as well like going through the list now you're like duh but then when you're finding out about it, you're like oh my gosh oh yeah duh. Um, so yeah, I just found that this was a really, really great tool to use, but it was exhausting. Like, I'm not going to butter it up and say it was all a flowery process. I'm like, oh my God, it was amazing. It was very, very exhausting. And to like, putting everything all together and it was just, it was just so much and I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> um, but yeah, at least that initial list, because it's like, it was so overwhelming that's one word i'll probably use it was a very overwhelming process and yeah it was a lot of things but i'm glad that it's done the list is there and all i need to do now is add little things to it if i want to but the bulk of things is there you know so yeah i hope you found this as educational or helpful as much as i did when reading other watching other girls as well is it's quite a long video but i hope I've gone in depth enough about just little things that's on the list that I thought would be really helpful for you guys to know about, you know? What? That sounded a bit Canadian at the end with my gas in, like, a boat, a boat, a boat. Sounds a bit more Canadian, doesn't it? Let me start, let me start, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, thank you guys. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Also, it really helped me out on my channel as well. Comment to let me know if you feel like I've missed out on anything else that you think will be really, really helpful. I would seriously love to know i've got a base list i can add some more it'll be really helpful um and yeah i hope you stick around check out my other videos just to see my pregnancy journey so far um i'll definitely be coming out with some more um i've got my baby shower coming up this weekend as well so that will be going up live next week so i really hope you stick around and you find out how all of that goes so yeah thanks guys subscribe if you haven't already i would love you to join my little gang um of us just chatting and sharing about what's going on with each other's lives do you know what i mean babes do you know what i mean babes um so yeah subscribe like this video and click the bell if you want to be notified for any of my future videos that are coming up she's kicking away so she's saying hey um so yeah guys until my next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye